Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. So this is part 5 or 4, I can't really remember, of the uh, beginners tutorial. So if you're still learning about Game Maker, this is a place to be. So last time we did drag and drop, um, these bits, drag and drop functions and code blocks I guess you could call them. Uh, but if you remember it really didn't go very well because I haven't used them in quite a while. And I said that generally I'd be focusing on the actual code because that's what all my tutorials generally are on. So this is what we're going to do today. So if you remember, we have a little player, and what we are going to do is make it move around using the controls. Really simple, and um, we'll be going in no time. So what we want to do is go down to control, and there's a code bit. First one here looks like a little script. You can drag that over into the actions and you should get something like this so really don't worry about any of these bits here never really use them apart from the tick obviously it closes it down and code well if you haven't used any coding language before this may be a little difficult um, but I'll try and explain it my best because I went from uh, game maker on to other things so it's quite an easy one to learn um, so the main bits of it is if so it's basically just questioning something so if this equals zero and that's how you'd lay it out and then you'd put I know say okay so that that won't work or anything that won't do anything but that's how you'd lay it out as an if statement another one that you've got which is quite handy we'll be using them today is a switch statement so this is the same as an if statement but what you can do is say if switch this okay. and then you just do the same thing but this time you're going to do case zero so what this will ask is is this zero and if it is it will run whatever's hit so say no and then you could say if this equals one say yes you know that works but say isn't a thing so don't do that this is just an example so this is what we're going to be using today to make it a bit more um, unique and different so what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a switch statement just like that switch really simple and then you put the brackets you don't know how to press it you just do shift and then if you find P on a laptop, I don't know about computer, and then go one to the right, you've got the curly brackets and you can just do them. tons and tons and tons of them. Very, very handy. Also, um, you may know, you may know, you may not, but you see I jumped along there, I can keep jumping along. If you press tab, tabs along. And that's what you use to make it a bit neater, because if you're writing like loads of code out and you, if you lay it out like this, you know, you kind of know what the layout is. If you just do actually if you just do this, it all starts to get very messy and very confusing. So remember to tab along when I tab along. Anyway, switch. Also what I'd like to say as well is if you press down on your mouse over a, a statement like this, then it opens up something really really handy in Game Maker, which is the um, I know the, the booklet let's say comes with all the different things in you can just search something up so that's the if statements you can search it up and then just look at it or you can just click on it like I did and it comes up with loads and loads and loads of information about them and an example today which is what we're doing now so uh, if you're ever stuck and you don't want to answer it in the comments or something you don't want to put your name out there you can just go and have a look on the, the thing on the uh, manual let's say right so what we're going to be switching between we're going to be switching between keyboard input I believe no no <laughs> I've forgotten um, switch keyboard let's have a look at the manual <laughs> it says it keyboard key that was it I knew it was something like that keyboard key whoops so what this is going to do is if you click on this you can again see so what it is is it's the key that's being pressed um, and you can put the codes in and I'll show you how to do that now 
So if you remember, we put our cases in. So it's saying if the keyboard that we're pressing, the keyboard key that we're pressing is, and let's put, for me, obviously on a keyboard, the um, directional keys aren't great, but I'll do them anyway. So VK, right. So if we're pressing the right key, which is uh, six on a laptop, Six. That is the right key. Um, then that's. This is what we're going to do. So we are going to x plus say three. So what are x's? You need to write an equals in there as well. Uh, no, other way around. So what this is going to do is our x coordinate is the coordinate that we're on so if you've not done coordinates you know that's kind of mathematical um, and that's not what I'm here to teach but what it is is it's a uh, coordinate running along the bottom um, and so here you could say if we're counting along one two three four these would be my x coordinate running along here and my y runs up like that so this is one that's two three four five so game makers five on this it's also about eight or something and that'll move along if it's plus I can't really remember if it's plus or minus but we'll see and we can fiddle which is the beauty of this so if we're going left we're going to want to take away three from our x so we're going to move this way which left I've forgotten something incredibly incredibly important after each the after each case statement, remember to put break because this ends the statement. It's like this is where it ends. Break. Also, case VK up. So this time, instead of doing X, we're going to do Y. Just like that. And break. And then we're going to do our, our case VK down. And this is going to be. Minus three, and that's going to be a break. Whoops! I don't want to go into Chinese. Uh, oh dear! <laughs> For some reason, I've um, gone Chinese every time I press B or any letter for that matter. One second. Uh, no, I don't want Chinese mode. English. That's better. <laughs> For some reason I was in Chinese mood. Now we can just that should work now. So it's saying if the keyboard key that we're pressing is the right key, we're gonna move along our X by three. So in this case we'll be onto Google now. And if we go left, we're gonna minus three, so we'll be somewhere about here. And the same with the up and down. So now we should be able to go and run this. Remember, press the green arrow and it should work quite perfectly maybe but seeing as apparently I was writing half of it in Chinese it doesn't bode well for it <laughs> let's see so yeah uh, the up and down doesn't particularly work very well I've put them the wrong way around but you can see we can go left right up down and it's it's all very movable apart from there for some reason I don't know what happened there so let's just go and swap that around quickly. So back into our object player, back into the step. Why is it in Chinese? <laughs> um, and then this is meant to be a minus, and this is meant to be a plus. Right, and now we should be able to run it. Should work absolutely perfectly. And that's movement. It's pretty simple. Um, if you want any more coding ones, coding things, check out the RPG series I did, that was quite basic and beginner. Um, or if you're looking for just general stuff, you can go and look at um, Sean Spellings, I think that's how you pronounce it. And he's got quite a few beginnerish tutorials that you can look at. And uh, you can see we're moving around pretty happily. Um, so yeah, but that's how to do it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to like, uh, subscribe, or just do whatever you guys do.
and I will talk to you later.